What's up everyone, this is Corey from Insidual. I'm just gonna answer some questions today. How did Insidual start? Um, I basically started it back in, I think, 2018. Uh, it was just basically supposed to be just a real, uh, just a project I, I can do myself. I, w I initially started just mixing and mastering and recording and writing everything my, on my own. Uh, it was originally intended just to be a internet project and I was really gonna keep it that way for a while, but uh, I had this itch to try to bring some people into it and actually, you know, do something on stage and kind of have some people along with it and stuff. So I just decided to kind of make make it a little bit more, make something more out of it. I don't know, you know. What's the goal? What's the goal? I wanna be the next American Idol. And fucking do 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 Where did the members come from? Uh, well, my buddy Robbie, who's uh, on guitar, um, who's the lo lovely voice you're hearing right now, <laughs> um, he uh, he came from this band called uh, Moretta. He was also in Spokane, and they were kind of like a more of a uh, radio rock. Is that what you call it, Robbie? Radio rock? I guess so. That's his real voice, you know. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> um, and uh, so uh, Chris McCabe, um, he uh, came from a band called Of Truth, um, or didn't come, like he, he's currently in the band Of Truth. I just, I'm borrowing these guys. But, uh, and uh, Taylor on drums, he uh, has been doing drums in the scene for a while. I don't think he's in any other uh, current, like big projects or anything like that, but happy to have him aboard. Um, and then uh, Jacob is also, um, he's on bass, and he is from the band Remember Me When, who is also a Pacific Northwest band. Dudes are dope. Um, and uh, Up Truth is dope as well, also, by the way, and stuff. What are your influences in the band? Influences in the band? Um, I mean, I, I like a lot of shit. Basically anything that's just really heavy, um, really heavy and really aggressive. I've been listening to a lot of 1056, um, a lot of... Uh, um, you know what's funny? Like when it, when someone says like, "Hey, name a band," and then all of a sudden you can't name anything off your head, off the top of your head anymore. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so a lot of 1056. I've been listening to a lot of Dealer, um, a lot of Alpha Wolf, um, basically anything from uh, from Australia. You can really just say that. I mean, those those guys are dope. That's basically about it. Just basically anything that's just really really fucking heavy and really aggressive. How did you start the music? Um, I actually started out as a drummer uh, when I was uh, when I was in when I was eight years old. Actually, I was in third grade or second grade or something like that, and I started taking lessons uh, um, that early. And I, you know, brought it up all the way through high school. Did drum corps throughout the summer for a few different drum corps, uh, either in the area, also in Arizona, and in Seattle. Um, and uh, from there, I was just always a big metalhead. Uh, with drums and everything, but uh, but yeah, so I was basically a drummer for almost my entire life, um, and I um, little by little started picking up vocals, picked up some uh, acoustic guitar, picked up some keys and stuff, and just trying to keep music alive. What's the song about? The song is basically about just you know it's kind of an ode to anyone who has someone in their life who's just kind of a piece of shit, you know, basically someone who. Uh, just, you know, someone is just fucking toxic. And so, just basically just about, you know, it's it goes out to anyone who has that person in their life that's just super toxic that you uh, just don't want around anymore. That's it. <laughs> What's the message behind the band? Message behind the band? Fuck you, that's the message. <laughs>